Buddy needs a haircut, looking like a homeless person. Not anymore, bud. Now I just like look like a trailer trash person. What do you see? What do you see? Mullet! 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 We're bringing the mullet back, boys. Today, we got something in the mail, which is right here. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's inside. I need to get a knife really quick. Kevin, you get away. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, yay. No. O-M-G. I got the wrapping off. Check that old fam. How do I get the rest of it off? I don't know how to open this because I personally have never uh, bought a brand new GoPro. It may sound kinda, kinda hard to believe, but it's true. I've never bought a brand new GoPro and that's what we did here today. As I'm trying to get this thing off of here, uh, I think this is gonna this is gonna up the channel a little bit this summer. This is gonna up the quality of the the chesty mount. I have been using GoPro Session Fours, like super really old GoPros, my whole YouTube career. So uh, I decided to finally just send it and buy a brand new GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero Seven Black. This is not the most brand new GoPro, but it's it's a pretty new GoPro. Not sure how you open this. I've never had, a, as you guys maybe know, I've always had sessions, GoPro Hero sessions. They don't have a screen on the back of them. It's just a little, here, I'll get it really quick. Bam, right here. These are the GoPro Hero session fours. As you can see, like that one's the doors all chipped up. This is one I've had. I've had these things for like three years now. And honestly, the quality of these, the, the audio of these, the audio is probably the best thing about these GoPros, but the quality is just, it's just not there. I'm hoping this, this GoPro is gonna be a whole lot better quality. Or actually, I know it's gonna be better quality. This thing shoots in 4K, which is freaking awesome. This does not shoot in 4K. And the reason I went with this one kinda is because uh, it's waterproof, just like the sessions. You don't need a housing for it or anything. You can. Uh, you guys know I like to get a lot of underwater releases like when I let the when I release the fish I like to get a little underwater view of it. So yeah, I can still do that with this I'm basically gonna be able to do all the same stuff I'm just hoping this is gonna be a whole lot better quality. So yeah super pumped about that and you guys are probably wondering where the heck I've been Oh whole box full of stuff. Let's see what's in here. How do you guys been wondering where I've been? Well, I can't really Ooh, stickers. I like stickers. I can't really go fishing because uh, none of the lakes I live around are unfrozen yet. I can't travel to go fishing, like open water fishing, I'm talking, because all the all the virus stuff going around. So yeah, I basically just been kind of stuck at home. Ooh, we got some sticky mounts. We got a little GoPro charger. I basically just been, oh, that's it. I've basically just been doing a lot of a lot of stuff at home, a lot of house stuff. You guys all know I just bought this new house of mine. So I've been doing a ton of yard work, a ton of stuff in here, just fixing little stuff here and there. There's just so much to do after you buy a house. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I wonder if this thing's all charged up. Anyways, guys, I was talking to a good buddy of mine, my buddy Adam, and uh, he was like, dude, you need to make a video for your for your subscribers. Like, at least make a, a Q&A video or something. So I figured, hey, I was getting this thing in the mail today. I knew I was getting it in the mail, obviously. Nope, that's not where you put the battery. My GoPros don't have batteries, by the way, either. You need a power pack to charge them. This one actually has batteries. But anyways, I was talking to my good buddy Adam, and he's like, dude, at least make like a Q&A video. Oh, okay, here we go. Anyways, yeah, I knew I was going to get this in the mail, so I thought I'd open it on camera for you guys, uh, explain to you guys why I got it, which I already did. So yeah, I figured I'd tie this into a little Q&A video. Uh, I'm going to bring up some comments that you guys have asked me. I don't know how to work this. I'm going to dink with this a little bit. I'm going to try to get this thing to turn on. I'm going to clean up all this mess I just made, and then we're going to pull up some comments and do a little Q&A video. Speaking of the lakes not unfreezing, it's freaking snowing out right now. Like, dude, it's last week it was like 70 degrees here what the heck all right dudes i think i got the gopro all dialed now i think i got it all updated and all that uh while i read my first comment we're gonna start the q a now while i read my first comment i want to test the audio of the gopro so really quick gopro start recording just for this first comment uh hopefully the audio sounds good to you guys uh 
We're gonna use the GoPro audio. The first comment, it is on the bushcraft video, my last video I posted, my first ever bushcraft video. It is from RS. Nice, dude, love these types of videos. Thanks, man, me too. Uh, that's why I'm going to continue to do a couple, a couple more bushcraft videos. I'm actually gonna try to sleep out there too. I'm gonna sleep out in the bushcraft, in the Fish and More bushcraft cave. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, GoPro, stop recording. That's another feature I really like about this. I don't even have to push record. Anyways, yeah, that's just a little test more so for me, but hopefully you guys think the audio sounds good also. I'm sure for those really windy days, I'll have to get like a, a mic or something because you can actually attach mics to those GoPros, I believe. You can't you can't do it to these ones, but you can do it to that one. Okay, on to the next, on to the next question. This one is on the, the video called Cooking Gourmet Ramen in off-grid cabin. I didn't really have a video idea, so I was like, hey, let's let's cook some ramen. <laughs> Anyways, Kingston Moran commented, I thought you were going to put that fish in your noodles for some reason. That honestly probably would have been pretty good. I would have cooked up the walleye first, but I, I, I probably should have did that. Oh, I forgot to turn off the GoPro. Kill him, boys. This is on Can't Believe He Made Me Do This. This was kind of a vlog. Me and my brother went and we went and tried to go fishing and it just didn't work out. But Kill him, boys says, you got a mullet, my man. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm loving it too. Just feeling extra trashy lately. Same video, Ben Burr. Keep up the great work. Hoping to get out with you one day. Hey, man. Cross your fingers and thank you. What's going on here? This one is on the same video. It's from Roth Nems. You should do fan mail and open things. I would totally do that, but I just don't really get enough fan mail to do that. Most of the time when I do get the fan mail, I just get so excited, I open it like right at the post office in my truck. And plus, I just, I haven't really, I haven't been posting a lot of videos, so I haven't really been getting a lot of fan mail. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to send me some fan mail, I would be, I'd be glad to make a fan mail unboxing for you. I actually think the last fan mail I got, I got this blanket, which I now am using for a tablecloth because this table's Brandon's and it, uh, we have to resand it. It's all dirty and stuff. And... A matching pillow. So yeah, most of the stuff you guys send me, I really enjoy and use it and yeah, I just really enjoy it. Back to the bushcraft video. This is from Mitch Solberg. Love the shelter and love the no talking while you made it. Great idea, can't wait for the rest to be shown. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely make some more. I'm gonna definitely add on to the bushcraft, the bushcraft thing and uh, yeah, do some more videos out there. This one is on my last burbit fishing video, that video where I caught some pretty freaking big burbits. This is from Michael Dobbs. More than once, I've had those slimy buggers pee green all over the house. You can have all of them as far as I'm concerned. By the way, I've caught hundreds of them in my 40 years of fishing Lake of the Woods. Largest is between 18 and 20 pounds. 18 and 19 pounds, sorry. Good for you, Michael. You. Good job. Here's another bush crafting comment. Any wood ticks yet? You should look for some morel mushrooms there. Definitely gonna look for some mushrooms. My brother, you guys all know Ryan, is my dog. Hey, you can't be on the couch. Kevin's not allowed on the couch. My brother is actually super into picking mushrooms and my cousin Brett is super into picking mushrooms. So yeah, I'll probably make a mushroom video. And yes, the wood ticks. I have found, we actually just got tick stuff on all the dogs. So yeah, I found like probably at least 10 wood ticks on both the dogs and I've even found a couple on me. Luckily, they haven't been stuck in me. I've just found them crawling around. Ben Burr, love to see you out in the woods doing what men do. Hell yeah. Woo! America. Bass and Outdoors. Hey guys, check out my new crappie lure video. I see a lot of people do this, put their links in like my comment selection saying, hey, go check out my video. Most of them don't make it just because they get sent to the spam comments, so. Yeah, if you guys are looking for views, that's definitely, that's just my output. That's not the way to do it. I've never done it in my life. I, I know a lot of my friends have never done that. I know a lot of my successful YouTube friends have never done that. So yeah, if you guys are actually looking to pursue a career in YouTube, don't go around advertising your videos in other people's comments because it's, it's just not, it's just not cool. I don't know. I guess I don't really care. You can, you can do it if you want. You can put whatever you want in my comments. I just, I don't know. That's why this America, do what you want. Way to go, guys. When are you going to make that dirt bike track? 
Uh, ASAP, as soon as possible. I want to make that dirt bike track pretty soon within a, within the next couple of videos I put out. Just pretty much waiting on my brother. Uh, we need to get some stuff for his skitster and some stuff for his skitster trailer. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm also, I really want to buy a dirt bike soon. You guys know that. I'm just kind of waiting on that big stimulus check we're all supposed to be getting. Definitely haven't gotten mine yet. G Nasty 88, straight banger. Banging, dude. Heck yeah, thanks for watching. Here's another comment from the Bushcraft. A lot of Bushcraft comments. You guys like the Bushcraft video. Mod rules. Back in my day, those were called strip forts. It was my first experience with topless dancing at eight years old. <laughs> what the fuck? It almost sounds like some sexual predator stuff, not gonna lie. You should maybe sue somebody. In a real survival situation, y'all would have been dead before you finished this badass shelter. I guess it did take a couple of days, but if if, the, if it was a real survival situation, I probably wouldn't be building a shelter. I'd probably like go steal a tank or something like that. Brody Tymon, love this style of video. Would love to make a shelter of my own one day. I highly recommend it, but I will tell you one thing. Actually, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I wish I made a, I wish I made a shelter like that years ago when I wanted to do it, but I, I just never, never, never came around to doing it. And now that I do this YouTube stuff, I can pretty much film anything, and that's kind of what pushed me to do it. So yeah, I highly recommend doing it, but. It definitely is a lot more work than you think. I, I'm 100%, if you go watch that bushcrafting video, like the intro, I was like, yeah, today we're gonna make this thing and make a, make a bed and stuff. It took us five days just to make the structure of it. Like, it, took, it takes a long time of doing it. I mean, obviously we weren't like grinding trying to get it done, but I mean, we put in a couple hours a day, so. Definitely takes some time to do it. I'm gonna scroll way down, try to get out of the bushcraft comments. Uh, that's kind of all I'm running into right now. Kip Outdoors. Great video, man. We are really trying to grow our channel this year. Fit. It's more self-advertising. What the heck? V2. Tell Brandon my dad was number one in BMX and track at one point. I'll let him know. Isaac Yitzer. Are all the lakes by you still froze over? Most of them, yeah. There are a few little lakes that are open, but the water temp's still pretty freaking cold. Within a week or two, if we get some good weather, all the lakes will pretty much be open, I'm thinking. Lakes area crappie guy. Murda, you gotta start fishing more, man. I know, I do need to start fishing more, but uh, there's nothing to fish for, so yeah. That's why I called the channel Fishing More and not Fishing Only. <laughs> Wade boys, wad boys, do you do anything else as a job? If so, what do you do? No, I do not. I, my full commitment is YouTube. That's my main income. That's how I pay my bills. And yeah, YouTube, yeah, it's my only job. Austin Kramer, I like that bear painting. Thanks, dog. I like it too. My mom's a gem. Get a Yamaha dirt bike. It won't let you down. Maybe. I've had a few Yamahas. You guys don't know this about me probably, but I probably had like at least 15 to 20 dirt bikes in my lifetime. I'm not 100% sure what brand I'll get. I, I really don't really care. I like all brands. I'll, honestly, I'll probably just get like the cheapest, the cheapest one I can find. I don't even know what I'm gonna get yet, whether it be like a, a pit bike, a 65, a, a 125 or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. The Doritos Killer, another awesome video from the fishing god. Woo! Buddy needs a haircut, looking like a homeless person. Not anymore, bud. Now I just like look like a trailer trash person. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know a lot of you guys don't care if I go fishing and you guys are the real ones. Obviously, I wanna go fishing right now, but I just can't and I and I have a lot of stuff to do here that I can do, so. Yeah, fishing videos coming really soon. Go buy some merch. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for taking time out of today to watch this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, next that subscribe button, like this video, all that stuff. Bye guys. Go buy some jerky.